Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I am using the after tarot for this reading because we are looking at rumours about a breakup and it is my deck that I use for breakups and reconciliations because the Two of Cups is on the cover of this box and it's a very sweet depiction of the Two of Cups that the exchange of cups has happened and now the couple embraced and so I am using the After Tarot to have a look at this a very nasty rumour that is going around story that broke on MSN earlier today that William and Kate have broken up William and Catherine let me say rather she has stormed out taken the three children with her the marriage is over and uh, that is the end of the Cambridge the fairy tale romance that was on MSN I am paraphrasing of course and uh, it has since been debunked uh, even in such um, a hardcore uh, favoring publications as Newsweek it is all just rubbish just lies just rumor but I'm interested to know why this has come out and now what is going on, how the Cambridge marriage really is. We'll check in with that just briefly. I don't uh, believe for one second that there is trouble there any more than there is trouble in any normal relationship. We all have ups and downs in our relationships. Um, I'm going to start giggling now thinking of mine. But anyway, <laughs> I'm not doing a reading on mine. So uh, uh, why, why now? And uh, is, is there any um, intervention from Montecito, perhaps, in this story? Uh, could its origins be over in that direction, let's say, to put it um, uh, diplomatically? And then the outcome, and the outcome is the outcome of this rumour and how the Cambridge marriage will be going forward. Anything that Universe wants to tell us, and we need to shuffle a little bit more. So it's a five card reading using the after tarot. We're not quite ready. Just having a look at this, and I find it very interesting that in the last few days, uh, there was a lovely photo or a video, in fact, it was a video of William and Catherine somewhere in the Caribbean. I can't remember where they were. Uh, but taken, they were walking through a parking garage, one of those underground parking garages, and they weren't aware that they were being filmed, and they were holding hands. And uh, so uh, a private display of affection, unlike some people who have to clutch each other in public when the Netflix cameras are rolling so hard that bruises are left, in my opinion, and um, claw marks also. Again, in my opinion. But let's see. Let's see what's going on, why this rumour, how the marriage really is, and uh, any involvement from over the sea, far, far away in California, in uh, dropping this story. Let's have a look. And uh, the underlying energy is... A Sorry, I'm straightening these cards out a little bit. And I'm really not succeeding. The underlying energy is the King of Swords in reverse. And uh, that's a, uh, a very angry and a very vicious energy, the King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords upright is a truth teller, very decisive. He's a very visionary, very, very intelligent man, um, cool, calm and collected kind of energy. Uh, but he's in the reverse. Somebody is very angry about this. And um, I think William, actually, I think that that's William's energy coming through. Furious, uh, the King of Swords, uh, wanting to um, really cut out the source of this rumour and we will check the source of this rumour but there is a very angry king here who's coming across as an air sign angry um, uh, and uh, the king of swords just by the way is lawyers it's one of the lawyer cards in the tarot deck it's those kinds of people um, professional people but those um, the kinds of people who have studied for a, a long time to gain knowledge expertise and it can represent lawyers there may in fact be some um, degree of legal proceedings lawyers letters written about this warnings with this king of swords I'm, I'm feeling in my heart chakra and i've just bashed my microphone as i touched my heart chakra it's a mic that sits um, actually sits over my heart chakra as I do these readings. My heart is actually pounding. It's it's feeling very, I'm feeling very stressed when I see that card. Very upset energy. I'm feeling upset. So the King of Swords, I think, is extremely upset about this. Let us see just a general situation card here. The first card of our five card reading, The Fool. Um, 
it, literally I think somebody has done something foolish. It's the new beginning card, of course, we all know that. Um, in the after tarot, the fool has actually dropped over the cliff and uh, managed to save himself mid-fall. Um, but uh, I don't think that that is the case in, in, in this scenario. I think somebody literally has overstepped the mark, done something a bit rash, foolhardy. And uh, it's not about the Cambridge relationship. It's not about their marriage. It's, it's about the rumour and the source of the rumour. Somebody leapt before they looked, before they thought. Somebody didn't do their research that they should have done. King of Swords can also be journalists, of course, in reverse. Sneaky journalism, journalism that's unethical. And um, the fool didn't check their facts, didn't double check and treble check. I suppose, uh, according to traditional journalism, uh, you're supposed to have three sources verifying something before you go to print with it. I am not a journalist. I am simply repeating things that I have read and uh, movies that I have watched and that kind of thing. So if somebody has uh, been precipitous in their uh, eagerness to rush to print with this story before they checked it. So let's see, how is the Cambridge marriage? right now it's as solid as solid could be and I want to have a little weep when I see this card actually because despite everything that they have gone through they are rock solid it's the Taurus card it's the commitment it is forever um, the Taurus energy Taurus endures more than any of the other fixed signs endures it's the Hierophant the Hierophant is literally the marriage card it is that commitment that you make in the presence of God that you will honor each other in sickness and in health and in harkles and all the rest of it no matter what the harkles fling at you and what life flings at you and your own royal family flings at you they will endure they will endure there it is major arcana marriage card absolutely rock solid so why now? Why has this story been released now? Because of course it's come from somewhere. It didn't just happen by accident, did it? Why now? And we get the judgment card, which is the second coming. Uh, can it be that the Harkles are wanting to come around again? Back into the royal family? They want, uh, want something coming. But also it is judgment. It is uh, law. It is legal proceedings reaching some kind of conclusion with the judgment card. Very interesting. Sitting above the king of swords, which is my uh, felt lawyer energy there. I wonder who is facing judgment in their marriage. Could it be that there is some kind of decision? Because the judgment card is about someone waking up and uh, being judged for the decisions that they have made. It's telling me that there is a lot more to the story than it's just a oops by um, msn.com. There is a lot more going on because it's major arcana, it is legal proceedings, it's awakenings, it's decisions, being judged for your past behavior, wanting to come back. I don't think I need to say any more than that about that card because now we're going to go to Montecito, the hidden energy of this five card reading and see whether perhaps um, any of this might have something to do with Montecito, might have been prompted by the people in Montecito, I think so. We get the Queen of Cups in reverse, a very upset queen, very upset female energy who is acting irrationally. The Queen of Cups is in her feels always and um, she's never the most... Um, and I don't mean this pejoratively uh, when the card is upright because of course it's helpful to be emotional and empathetic and all of that. Um, you can't always just be cold and rational in your behaviour. But when the Queen of Cups is in reverse, a bit over the top, uh, irrational to, to the point of excess, out of control emotion, I think that the Queen of Cups over in Montecito is very, 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 very upset about all the bad press, um, the mocking, the failure. Uh, possibly even the judgment that is coming to pass in her own marriage. And of course, let's throw in the disclaimer. It is in the box below. This is just a tarot reading for entertainment purposes or just my opinion. But it looks to me as if there's a very upset, very begrudging, very jealous, very out of control and irrational Queen of Cups in the mix. And that this story may well have come from there and the fools ran with it, not realizing that they really needed to double check and triple check check their sources. So let's see the outcome of this. We know that the Cambridge marriage is rock solid. So what else does the universe want to tell us as an outcome of this nasty little story? We get the two of 
pentacles in reverse and I don't read Cambridge energy when I see that card at all I think that the person who sent this rumor out who was at the the root of the story is going to live to regret it lawyers here remember the two of pentacles in the reverse is back the wrong horse pick the wrong uh, put your energy into the wrong thing prioritize the wrong thing uh, made a, a, a foolish decision and uh, might cost money because pentacles when they're in reverse always expensive this is only two pentacles that might drop but it might cost some money it might cost some opportunities to make money um, and it is also the card of overwhelm we've got two cards of overwhelm because the queen of cups in reverse is overwhelmed emotionally and um, this is overwhelmed by the the sort of everydayness that they have to deal with this person that uh, it's difficult to choose it's difficult to, to manage their time it's difficult to manage their energy and they get easily overwhelmed and whoever is at the root of this rumor has got a problem has got a problem with uh, their ability to see things clearly to be uh, uh, well balanced it's an unbalanced energy two unbalanced energies somewhat unhinged even I want to say there is trouble in paradise very clearly and that paradise is not at Kensington Palace or and Mahal or wherever else William and Catherine happen to be that PDA in the car park in the Caribbean was absolutely genuine this marriage is rock solid it will last and last it will endure uh, for as long as they are both on this earth that you can bank that is a tarot reading of course and thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one